You see, Mr. Powers. I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. I love gold so much that I even lost my genitalia in an unfortunate smelting accident. Hence the name, Gold Member. I want to show you guys how to make some amazing gold text. Who's with me? If you'd love to see me make some gold text, that's probably why you clicked on this video, and we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna show you how to make something super cool. So what we need to do first is open up Adobe Photoshop, and we're gonna create a new document. So Command New or Control New, right? Control N, I should say. We're gonna make this thing, let's just go hit pixels, 1920 by 1080. It's gonna make things easy. Whoops, 1080, not 1009. We'll just make the resolution a little higher. We'll just go 150 on this, just so we're not working with too tiny of a artboard there. There we go. All right, so here we go. So we have our blank canvas. And what I would need to do is go right over here and hit Command or Control I, and that is going to invert it. So that's what we did first. Now, what I need to do is go over here and grab my handy dandy text tool. All right, now I do have my guides up here, so I'm gonna minimize this for just a moment. Come over here to one inch, one inch. I wanna have this nice and centered right there and drag this out. First thing that we need to do is to select our font and then put our text inside of that font and then we're gonna color it. So first step here is I'm just gonna put Adrian, whoops, I gotta spell my own name right, and then graphics. I wonder if I should just put Adrian. We're probably just gonna put Adrian. Just gonna make this thing really easy for you today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and highlight that. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna arrow up. It's gonna go up by 10 as I'm holding shift. It's pretty cool right there, huh? All right, so we're gonna take that. And now I have, look at my layers, I have this white text. I'm gonna go ahead and double it, and duplicate it, I should say. And this is gonna be my top layer. And you can name it like this if you want. And this is the bottom layer, okay? So we'll come back to the bottom layer later, but for now, we're gonna focus here on this top layer. All right, so what we need to do is scoop both of these, actually down to the middle. So let's drop this right here in the center and we're gonna make some really cool text. All right, so now we have this in the center uh, and we can do this in a couple different ways. we we'll turn this one off. We're gonna go ahead and show you actually how to add the gradient to it. So we're gonna go over here to the layers. I'm gonna double click this layer. I'm gonna hit gradient overlay, boom. So I already have kind of a gold selected there. This is one that I've used in the past, but we're gonna make a brand new one. So why don't we go ahead and double click this here and we're gonna just create something like this. And on one side, we are going to fill in the RGB color. So the RGB colors on one side is 245 under R, you got 237 under G, and you got 175 under B. So you're gonna hit select there, and then you're gonna to go to the other side. You're gonna double click that one over here, and you're gonna put in 194. You're gonna put in 172 and then 81, okay? So those are the two ranges for your gradients. Now what I wanna do, because I have that there, I'm actually gonna create a new gold text gradient. So I'm just gonna name it that, okay? And we're gonna hit new. Now I've saved that right here. Where's my presets here? It should show up, where'd it go? There it is, right there, I have that saved. So I can use this for the future, which we're gonna use here in a few minutes. Now what you need to do is come under here and hit reflected. Okay, you need to make sure that's reflected. See how you have this dark on the bottom, dark on the top, and then light in the middle? That is the reflective, okay? Awesome, so we're gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna keep everything else the same here for just for the moment. And I'm just curious, while you're here, what brought you to this tutorial? Are you working on a project? Are you looking for gold text for a design that you're doing? Drop a comment down below, I wanna hear from you. Let me know what you needed this gold text for and what brought you to this tutorial. All right, so let's go now a little bit more into detail on these layer effects. So we added a layer effect. The next thing that we're gonna to need to do is add that gold effect. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit right here and go to bevel emboss, that's the start of it. And we're gonna set the angle, which is already actually set here, which is funny, to 120. And then what we need here is our contour picker. See this gloss contour? We're gonna use the double, ring double is what this is called. See, ring double. Go ahead and pick that ring double. And we need to make sure this anti-aliased is selected. Then from here, we're gonna turn down the, uh, the highlights just a little bit and we're gonna bring it both to 75. One, two, three, four, five on the highlights. Same thing here. We're gonna go up, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. 
make that here uniform. And then the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we have our chisel hard, which is exactly what we wanted. The next step is the inner glow. So we wanna go to an inner glow. So let's go ahead and do that here now. Right here, we actually might have to add it. So if it's not there, you can find it in here. So there's inner glow, okay? And then we're gonna hit multiply on this inner glow. Then we're gonna bring this inner glow to a 50 opacity, just a little higher than we have now. All right, and then we're gonna put some RGB colors into this inner glow. So on these RGB colors, we wanna put in here 232. Oops. 232. 128 and 31. There we go. You know what? We're gonna make the size just a little smaller. So there we go. I think that's a pretty good inner glow. We're just gonna go to 50. I think that's more than enough there. Okay, and we have that at 50. You have your orange color in there. Everything else is set up the right way, okay? Now the next step of what we need to add on, add on here is going back to that original layer. So what we're gonna do here so we're gonna go back to this original bottom layer. Okay, we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna first add a stroke to it. So we're gonna take this stroke here, we're gonna click that and we're gonna add a stroke to the outside. So you're gonna go over here to where it says position and you're gonna hit outside. Okay, and then you're gonna just increase the size of that stroke just a little bit. So we're gonna go maybe to like, I don't know, probably like an eight. We can always adjust these, fine tune these things when we're done. Okay, there's your stroke. So now what we need to do, the next thing is the bevel emboss, kind of like we did on that top layer. We're gonna hit that, and now we're gonna go over to our style. So we need to change our style to stroke emboss. We can leave the chisel hard there, that's fine. That's not too big of a deal. Look at this, this is already starting to look pretty darn cool. And we'll be able to brighten it up here in just a few minutes. And then we're gonna make the depth a little deeper. So we're probably gonna bring this, actually, we're, I think we're gonna bring it down a little bit. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll bring this to like one, 170. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's go up a little bit. There we go. Bring it to 170. And then we're gonna need to make the size just a little bit bigger. So let's just go ahead and here. Let's just use eight on this. That looks pretty darn good so far, don't you think? All right, and then we got the same thing, 75, 75. Let me just bring that up a little bit more. Okay, got that set up in there. And now the last piece I need to do on this layer specifically is adding a contour. So we're gonna hit contour, right? and we're gonna uh, make sure that that's set up in there. That made it look really, really nice. And then the last piece inside of contour is gonna be our drop shadow. So we're gonna add a drop shadow in here and we're gonna throw some RGB colors again one more time. So again, 232, 128, and 31. We're gonna use that same orange color. And if we wanna adjust it after, we totally can. We're gonna bring down the opacity on this thing. It's a little too bright. We're gonna bring it to like a 40 here. There we go, whoops, there we go, there's a 40. And then we'll make the size, let's see if we can bring up the size just a little bit more, there we go, a 60. I think 60 is pretty good, that looks really nice right there. So that is the majority of making some gold text. I think that looks pretty good. There's some good edges, some nice gold reflections. I do wanna brighten this up just a little bit. I think it would be good to brighten up some stuff. So let's go ahead and maybe scale this a little bit more. Let's see how this looks. That's okay, that took away some of that gold factor. Let's see, let's bring the opacity up just a little bit more. There we go, so I just wanna bring that down. So we're actually gonna end up setting this at about 45. There we go, just a little bit lighter than I had it before. And then there you go, there is your gold text. Now obviously you can change the font and you can do this in some different fonts. It'll make it look different. Um, if you actually do this in a thinner font, let me just show you what that would look like. So you bring this in here, let's just use like a Playfair. Here we go. There we go. And so you see, it totally changes the look of that text based on the font that you use. So it's totally gonna be different based on the font. In fact, I really like that. Just for the sake of this video, I wanna actually do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top layer, I'm gonna bring this down right to where this was, right? I'm gonna take this bottom layer here and I'm gonna change this font to Playfair as well. Playfair, Playfair, display, regular, boom. There we go. And I'm just gonna make sure that I match it up and line it back up. Boom, I like that a lot. Now let's just adjust the kerning a little bit, which I'm gonna make a video out here pretty soon. Let's go character. Let's just go out like 50 on this, boom. So there we go. So that is some really gorgeous gold text. This is the tutorial that I wanted to show you. 
one last thing that I want to add here real fast. So if you want to just kind of set it off and just take it to the next level, we're going to go ahead and name this. You can do sparkles, sparkles and shines. So I'm going to just create one layer for each for now. What you can do is this is how I do it. I use my little brush tool, hit my X on the keyboard to switch it. I'm going to go make it a little smaller, go like that. I hit command T or control T depending on your Mac or PC. I go ahead and make that right there and just bring it down. See, there's one. I'll duplicate it and hit Command T, double it this way. I'll do the same thing, grab both layers, hit Command T to adjust them. Actually, what I'll do is hit Command J to double them or Control J, then hit Control T. There we go. I don't like everything looking so perfect and uniform. So I'm going to go ahead and make it like that. So that's like a sparkle, right? So like right in, in here, you can add a nice little effect there. You can even turn this a little bit if you want. Boom, just to give it that nice, unique look. If that's too big, you can make it a little smaller, right? The other type of shine that I want to show you, or sparkle I want to show you, and this is more of a shine, is using that same brush tool right in here, right? And bringing this in on certain spots, right? So just really adding some highlights. You can make this smaller. Whoops. You can make this smaller if you want so it's not so big. And then you can bring the opacity down, like I could put it like right in here, right? Just to really draw some attention in your eyes to this specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and probably include this specific file so you can just do it quickly for yourself. But I wanted to make this tutorial to show you how to make some gold text. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming back for another tutorial. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if this was helpful. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. God bless you. And as always, keep looking up.